For those of you who have not seen any of my previous Build a Lift Panel for Isaac videos, Isaac's story was featured on Breakfast TV, where Philip Schofield and Holly Willoughby went into a lift within the studio to film it for him. This is how I became aware of Isaac, as I am also fascinated by old lifts, I knew I could help somehow. I have been working on this project for Isaac since December last year, and has taken about 8 months to complete. This is an actual lift panel attached to a board with LEDs behind it, all controlled via an Arduino computer board. Me and Tom Holm have written the software so the panel behaves like a normal lift, going up and down collecting calls. Before I send these completed panels out, here is how it works. I may go line by line through the coding or programming with you at a later date. Also, click the link above to see the complete playlist which shows all the videos, from construction, soldering, and finally the completion. Here we have the three Otis panels. These two have the panels installed already. This one over here, this is for James, he has the Otis panel already, so he just has to screw that on the front. This one is for Isaac. This has um, a stand at the back, so they're gonna put that on the table. And they're all working fine, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, just gonna run through how these work. Um, now on the laptop, I'm gonna start up the, uh, the monitor, called the serial monitor. Now when that happens, uh, now I've just um, disconnected and reconnected, so I have to select the port again. Now when I open up the serial monitor, it will restart the Arduino board. Now this is quite um, handy because this gets me into the first options. Generic, Otis, nope, sorry, Express, Otis. Generic, Express, Otis. So this is the sequencing. Um, I'm gonna do Otis, select that one. This is the lift speed. I'm gonna do two for speed two. So that's slow, that's medium, that's fast. So it's in Otis mode at a medium speed. At the 13th floor, it always goes inactive the first time it runs. So to call it, you press the button. Now you notice that it flickers every time it does something. Um, that's door closing, door opening, starting up, that sort of thing. It does that just so that you can imagine what it's doing on the floor. And I suppose some lifts, if you look at the display, when the relay's turning on and the motor's turned on and the contactors are going and all that sort of thing, you do notice the LED sort of like go off and come back on slightly. So I've kind of simulated that already. And I've just talked over the lift arriving. But there it is. Uh, now I can press the button twice. One, two. And I can select a car call. So let's send that up to floor 12. So see that flicker? Doors closing. Doors shut and accelerating. medium speed. If you look at the one up here, this is in express mode. Not speed, I mean express lift company, the way the, way the floor indicator sequences. So off, on, off, on. Otis, because of the way the floor selector works, is mostly off and then on, and then off, and then on, and then off. But express is different. Up to floor 12. So when it's on floor 12, as long as it's stopped, I can go one, two, it's moving. So I've selected a call in the word, so one, two, and then I can select another car call for it to go to. So let's get it to go to 10. And I also have my landing call active on the ground floor. So that will go to 10 then down to the ground floor. Now written into the logic, I've programmed it so that it does three different things. It can either go inactive, it can choose a random floor, 
or it can continue to go in the same direction that it's previously going. So this could pick up a call anywhere between where it's just stopped to where it's going now. While it's moving, I can't select a car call. There you go, that's a good example of that. It stopped on the first floor, but it's still got to respond to my ground floor call. Um, just while it's doing this, doors are just opened, doors are just closed, accelerating. Stopped on the first floor. I could do a car call here. One, two. Let's do eight. Car called on eight. It will still come down and get my ground floor call before it responds to the car call. So arrival bell, doors opening. Let's cancel my call. If I press the call button again, it will just um, reopen the doors and respond to it. So I've already given this a car call on the eighth floor. So obey. Let's have a look at the laptop, see where it's going. Yep, it's going up to get my car call on the eighth floor. This time it's not stopping in between. So that's the first mode. Um, the second mode is the one that's demonstrated on here. And that's on the lowest speed. So if I put this one onto the uh, lowest speed, it will be the same speed as that. Now while it's doing that, this alarm button, it's just connected to a sounder behind. I'm eyes it's gonna have fun with that. <laughs> so express mode, express lift company, I don't mean express by speed. Right, so I'm just gonna demonstrate the generic mode now. So I'm just gonna close and reopen the serial monitor, and that will actually restart the board. Right, the first thing it does, sets a random seed. So that means it doesn't pick the same floors all the time, it mixes it up every time it starts up. Uh, so let's go generic this time, and what speed? Let's do speed three. That up there is speed one. First thing it does is it picks a random floor and goes inactive. So now I can call it. So a flicker, there you go. Accelerating. Now of course you can muck around with the timers in the software to make that go faster and slower. But uh, speed one, two, and three are the three um, standard speeds that I put in. So now, double press, where are you gonna go? Up to number five. Doors closing, flicker, door shut, accelerating. I'm gonna register a ground floor call. Let's see what happens. It will go up to five. Now, will it continue? That's one of the decisions it can make. And I can see that it's chosen to pick a random floor. So this might come back down to the ground floor. Doors closing. It is coming back down again. But you can see by the random number it picks, it picks uh, a number between one and seven. If it picks number one, it goes inactive. If it picks, 
If it picks number two or three, it picks a random floor, but if it picks numbers four, five, six, or seven, it, it continues to find another call in the same direction. So it's more likely to continue. Let's see what it's gonna pick this time. There we go. So it's pick number seven, and it's going to continue. Now I can register another car call if I wanted to. I'm just gonna let it see what it's gonna do here. It's gonna continue up, and what's it gonna do? Is it gonna pick? Oh, it's going up to 13, so that will be, if you look at the um, software, it says stopping and then a limit. That means it's reached the top or the bottom floor. So it will not choose the continue option now, it will choose a different number. Doors closing. Door shut, accelerating. There we go, that's top speed. Can't register a car call while it's moving. And that's because it would have got very complicated because if you registered a call um, just ahead um, of the floor that it's at, it's, uh... put it this way, the software fills up the capacity of the Arduino board memory and I've already got a warning saying that it could be unstable. Now it's, it's fine, it's not gonna be unstable, but I can't add any more coding to this without adding SD cards. And then this board will be in my possession for another six months. Now one thing, it will pick the ground floor like this one's done but it only lights up the indicators and makes a noise if you press the call button. The reason is if you had this sort of like in your bedroom, which um, I think James is gonna put it um, on the wall somewhere. Um, Isaac's gonna put this in uh, one, of his, um, one of his rooms. Uh, you can leave it running and it won't disturb you. In other words, it doesn't just keep coming down to the ground floor and going In the end, you end up turning the thing off. So I've done it purposely so that it only gives you a noise lights up them lamps and if this is in someone's bedroom and the lights out it will, <laughs> it will light up the room uh, and he does that if you press the call button otherwise it will come down to the ground floor but it won't light up the indicators or make the arrival chime